Hi, my name is Dee Apps, and welcome to the first edition of On the Level with the Corps of Engineers. Behind me is Lake Huron, which is connected to Lake Michigan via the Straits of Mackinac. Together, they make up one of the largest freshwater surfaces on the planet. Because of this connection, we consider them to be one lake referenced as Lake Michigan Huron. Typically, all of the Great Lakes experience an annual pattern of rising water levels in the spring and declining water levels in the fall. This is noted by the blue dashed line on the hydrograph. Dry conditions during the winter, spring, and early summer of this year have really impacted the typical annual pattern on Lake Michigan Huron. So much so, the lake has seen almost no rise this year. The red solid line depicts annual 2021 monthly mean levels and shows that January's level is the peak level for the year so far. Should it remain that way, it would be only the fourth time in the 100 plus year period of record that this has occurred after 1931, 1958, and 1987. Even with a return to wetter conditions in the region during late June and parts of July, our latest six month forecast shows Lake Michigan Huron remaining well below its record setting levels of a year ago, but above its long term average. Even in our wettest scenario, water levels are not expected to approach record highs over the next six months. For the Corps of Engineers, I'm Dee Apps. Thank you for listening to our first edition of On the Level. For more information on the Great Lakes, please visit our website and our social media pages.